Hello, digital single market followers. Today, uh, I will talk to Nathalie Smuha, who is one of our commission experts on artificial intelligence, and she is coordinating our independent expert group who are currently drafting AI ethics guidelines. AI is currently already being used in many applications, also in our day-to-day -day lives, and is improving these situations. It really has the potential to bring tremendous benefits to society and to individuals. At the same time, AI can also raise a couple of ethical concerns. Um, for instance, AI can be used in a way that intentionally or unintentionally discriminates certain people to which AI is applied. So AI is often used with the intention to reach more objective decision-making, but through inherent bias, for instance, in the data or in the way the algorithm is built, it can still lead to unintentional discrimination. And this is something that we, of course, want to avoid. So the guidelines actually set out, first of all, high-level principles that should always be complied with when using AI, such as doing good and not doing any harm, such as ensuring accountability and justice. And then the guidelines go a level deeper and set out 10 requirements in order to make sure that AI is trustworthy, such as the fact that AI should ensure that privacy is respected, that uh, there is no discrimination taking place, that AI is transparent. And in a last chapter, the guidelines set out very concrete questions that can guide developers and deployers of AI to ensure that the AI technology that they use actually respects these 10 requirements. And these questions range like, did you ensure the accuracy of your data? Did you ensure there is a fallback plan if your AI is not accurate? And in this way, we think that um, these guidelines can really help companies, organizations and institutions to ensure that the AI is actually trustworthy. So we think it's very important that stakeholders are involved in developing the ethics guidelines because in a way it really serves to help them. So that's why we've set up a consultation on the guidelines, on the draft version of the guidelines, and everyone can give its input and feedback on this draft until the 1st of February. We also set up the European AI Alliance, which is a multi-stakeholder platform to which anyone can become a member. And on this platform, discussions are held on AI policy making that also provide feedback to the high-level expert group. Did you like this video? Then give us a thumbs up or ask uh, questions in the comments.